to wrap up this digital job site post. Uh, I'm going to use the components we've created to uh, put some top plates on our model and um, put it in a place to do some more framing on it in a future video. Turn off the shadows and let's select this plate component we created earlier. And this drill is getting familiar. Have the move tool, hit the control key, and that gives us another set of plates. And I'm going to get out of that mode and then do it again to create a double layer of top plates, which gives us a framing for our shed with shadows. Hopefully this um, blog post will give you an idea of how handy it is to create components, what can be done with them as far as duplicating, moving, um, and arranging them uh, to create 3D models.